It's 5.30 here in central Indiana, but overseas in Japan, our Olympians are just starting to wake up. Oh, this is a big day for them. You know, for years they've put in the practice, and now it's their time to shine. There's high hopes for the sensational six. Women's gymnastics, the team led by Simone Biles. They got a chance to rotate through the floor, the vault, the uneven bars, and the balance beam earlier today. They call this podium training. Women's gymnastics qualifications begin on Saturday night with the team final on Tuesday morning. Team USA is getting ready to catch some waves too. The first Olympic surfing competition will take place this weekend. Team USA is made up of two men and two women. Carissa Moore is one of them and she is favored to bring home the gold. She talked with NBC Nightly News about the most valuable lesson she's learned after a year of uncertainty. I think this past year I've I think one of the greatest lessons I've learned is how to be resilient. I've always struggled with just rolling with the punches and if I get knocked down to get back up and not to tear myself down. And so I think this past year, I really, um, I kind of just learned how to pick myself up, dust myself off and then continue on with a smile. And I hope that that will be valuable moving into the Olympics. This pandemic has certainly changed a lot of the pomp and circumstance leading up to the games. You might not have even realized it, but let's talk a little bit about the Olympic torch. It traveled all through Japan the last few months. They just didn't run with it, and the people weren't allowed to come watch until recently. They passed the flame during a stage ceremony earlier today. You'll see it again tomorrow morning during the opening ceremony when they light the cauldron. That's at 6.55 a.m. right here on Channel 13.